everybody. Lesson 4.6, we're going to do some volume practice. Um, we've been practicing with volume since quarter one, since unit one, honestly. So this is something that should be a little easy for you. Um, you know the routine, you know how it works. So let's go. Number one says, David helped his father build a large planter to grow flowers in the front of their house. How much soil can the planter hold? To find the volume, you're going to do length times width times height. So two times three times eight. That will be my number model. Equals volume. Let's do the math. Two times three is six times eight is 48. 48 cubic feet of soil. That is how you're going to do that problem. Number two. It says David found 11 unopened bags of potting soil in the garage. Each bag contained two cubic feet of soil. David dumped all of the bags of soil into the planter. Draw a line on the picture above to show about how much soil is in the planter and how you figured it out. Okay, let's think about this. 11 bags that are two feet each. So that's about uh, 22 feet of soil, right? And it can hold 48. So 22 is close to being half. So as far as my line, that's what I would draw. My reasoning, I would say 2 um, times 11 equals 22. This is about half of 28. I'm sorry, of 48. My bad. It's about half of 48. That's how I would do it. That's basically all you have to write. David's mother used scraps of wood to build a vegetable planter shown below. How much soil can the planter hold? All right, I'm going to split it into pieces. So for this piece right here, it's going to be two feet by two feet by four feet. So two times two times four. All right, I'm going to split this one by itself. Let's see, it's going to be one by two by three. So one times two times three. And then the last would be this rectangle, four by two by six. So four times two times six. All right, find the volume of all of those and then add them together. Let's see. Pause the video now. Find all the volumes, put them together, find the total. Go. All right, I hope you paused. Here we go. Two times two is four times four is 16. 4 times 2 is 8, times 6 is 48. 1 times 2 is 2, times 3 is 6. I'm going to add all of those together. 6 times 6 is 12, plus 8 is 20. 2, I'm sorry, 4 plus 1 is 5, plus 2 is 7. So your answer there would be 70. All right. Explain how you found, uh, explain how you solved part A. I found the volume of the lettuce by doing 2 times 2 times 4. I found the volume of the tomatoes by doing two times one times three. I found the last volume by doing four times two times six. I added them all up. My answer was 70. I know I wrote that quick. 
I know I wrote that quick. Take your time. Pause the video. Write it. Pause the video. Write it down. This would be a correct answer. All right, if you're here, that means you wrote it down. Let's see. If the planter doesn't fit in the patio, David's mom will remove the lettuce. So I'm going to get rid of that one. How much soil will she need to play fill the planter then? All right. So now I'm going to get rid of that 16. I don't need it. So 48 plus 6, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. You would need 54. That's how I did that problem. All right, guys, that is it for our volume practice today. Make sure you're finishing the rest of your lesson. Have a great day. Bye.